What's up guys, it's Justin here, and today I've got a student-themed desk setup tour, and you guys might know I've done a ton of back-to-school videos, including a student bag, student dorm, and also a budget bag. So if you guys wanna go ahead and check those out, make sure you check the links down below. And if you'd like to win an item from this setup tour, just make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video, and leave a comment down below with your favorite item. I would also really appreciate it if you guys wanna check out my Instagram and Twitter pages, and I'll be announcing a winner for this giveaway at 3,000 likes in the comment section. So as you guys might know, I do like to make a ton of desk setup tours throughout the year. I made different theme ones, some of them that are more expensive than others. But this one is one that I picked where I did kind of have budget in mind, but at the same time, I didn't really go for the cheapest items out there. I picked ones that I believe were a good value for what they were. So we still have a 27 inch display with a two millisecond response time. You still have a decent set of speakers with a base subwoofer included as well. The furniture is simple, but also decent quality and ones that I actually use in my offices for many years now and I really enjoy enjoy and continue to use. I did team up with Best Buy Canada for this video, which is where I get a lot of my tech. So if you guys wanna get any of the items featured in this video, just make sure you check the link down below as they are gonna be available at Best Buy Canada. If you're looking to power your space, whether it's for your desk setup or everyday carry, Best Buy has everything you're going to need at the local stores and online. So the intention with any back to school setup is to make it as minimalist as possible, but also have everything you need. I think budget and space is the biggest factor when it comes to a dorm setup or something in an apartment space. But if you're a techie, you still wanna have all of the major things that you're used to having perhaps back home. So beginning with the desk, the one that I went with once again was the IKEA Linmon Tabletop. This one goes on sale quite often and at the moment it is extremely cheap. The monitor that I went with is the LG 27MK400H and this is one that I believe is a pretty good value for its size and it also comes in a 24 inch option. The one that I have here is 27 inches and it has a 1080p resolution with a two millisecond response time, AMD FreeSync and also dynamic action sync support. It's also mountable via vase mounts. But I think what's best about it, aside from being a nice LED panel that is simple, but also performs well and comes in at a really reasonable price point is the fact that it just looks very minimal. It's thin and on the back, you will find your necessary IO ports, but there really isn't anything extra. There's only one HDMI port, which is something that I'm not a big fan of. And I would have also liked to have seen a cable channel, but as a monitor, alone it is a great pick. I've also seen this monitor on sale quite a bit in just the last few months. The mouse that I picked for the setup isn't necessarily the cheapest out there, but it's one that is very versatile and can be used both in a main desk and on the go. It's a Logitech Anywhere 2S mouse, and it's one that I've had for many years now and continue to recommend because you can connect up to three different devices and switch between them with one single button on the back. It also has a great battery life of up to 70 days, and with a three minute charge, you can get up to a full day. For the size, the ergonomics are as good as you're gonna find, and I'm personally a pretty big fan of this blue color. If you guys are looking for some decorations on the desks, just some ones that I've got here are Hypebeast magazines that I just put on the corner and I think it looks pretty cool, as well as a bare brick. And there are many different options out there, some of which that are cheaper than others. The pencil holder that I have here is from Poppin, as well as a set of Poppin pins. And although these aren't the cheapest, I think from a design standpoint, they're nice and minimal and look great. As for speakers, these are one of the things that can range a lot in terms of price point. And the ones that I found were the best bang for buck as always are from Logitech. The one that I picked for this desk setup is a Logitech Z213, and the reason why I like this is because it comes with the speakers themselves, but also a sub. At its price point, it's really a no-brainer. It also has bass control. It is 14 watts total, which is perfectly fine for a small room, and the input is through a 3.5 millimeter jack. Obviously for its price, you really can't expect too much, but I think for what you're gonna be paying for it, you just can't complain. I also wanted to give you guys a quick sound test anyways. No, that means I'll have As for an all-in-one computer that I can really recommend to students based on what I've tested out is the Microsoft Surface Pro. So this one actually comes in many different configurations that of course range in price based on what you're going to need. But the one I have here is an i5 with 120 gigs of storage, eight gigs of RAM. And for general use when it comes to productivity and everyday tasks such as word processing and multimedia, web browsing, and also a little bit of graphic design, then this is going to be able to suit your needs very well. If I were to use a Windows computer, I personally would choose Microsoft because of its great build quality and the magnesium finish just makes it feel nice and durable and that's exactly what you want if you're going to be taking it around with you everywhere. This one has a 12.3 inch pixel sense display with a resolution of 2736 by 1824 and of course it is also a touchscreen and compatible with the Microsoft Surface Pen which if you want to do any drawing or note taking it is a very nice experience. From my experiences, the battery life was able to get me through an entire day. And I think with the full Windows experience, it's just nice to be able to take it around as a tablet. But if you want to do any typing or more laptop work, you can also connect the keyboard to it very easily. 
In the event that you might not have your laptop connected to your computer at all times, or just want kind of a streamlined interface for your media consumption, then the Roku Express is a good option because of its price, but also because it's full HD and can work with monitors and TVs. But it just gives you access to everything you need all in one place, including YouTube, Netflix, Roku streamer, as well as movies. The remote makes it very easy to access, and if, for example, if you're trying to do your homework on your laptop or your Surface Pro, and you don't really want to have it plugged in to the monitor to use as a TV, then for the price, the Roku is a great option, and I personally really only find myself using Netflix and YouTube. I also like that it's small enough to hide behind your monitor. The last thing that I have here is a lamp from Ikea, and inside of it is a Philips Hue. So the Philips Hue is definitely not the cheapest set of bulbs that you can get out there, but with a starter kit, lately I've seen a lot of promotions where it does include an Amazon Echo Dot. So if you want to sell that and save some money, then you've got yourself a Philips Hue starter kit, and I've seen this as a very popular option for students out there, because a dorm's not always going to be the nicest place, and you kind of just want to have a nice vibe to it through colored lights. You can put this in your lamps, whether it's on the desktop or in the room, and control everything from your smartphone to 16 million colors. Otherwise, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like, and thanks so much for watching as always, as well as all of my other back-to-school stuff, and I'll see you all in the next one.